Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this problem? a square minus b square equals to 4 and ab equals to 2. We are finding the value of a plus b here in this math Olympia problem. Now, from the first equation, this is equation 1, equation 2. From the first equation, we have a square minus b square equals to 4. Now, let's square both sides. We square this side and also square this side. So, the square on this side, we can expand it and this becomes a raised to the power 4 plus b raised to the power 4, then minus 2 a square b square, which is equal to 16. 4 square is 16. And uh, in the next step, let's take minus 2 a square b square to this side and this becomes a raised to the power 4 plus b raised to the power 4 equals to 16 plus 2a square b square and also a square b square we can write it again and this becomes a raised to power 4 plus b raised to power 4 equals to 16 plus 2 into bracket a b then all square from the law of indices we can take the power out of the bracket and uh, AB from equation 2, AB is equal to 2. So we can replace the value of AB here as 2. And this becomes A raised to power 4 plus B raised to power 4 equals to 16 plus 2 times 2 squared. And 2 squared is 4. Then 4 times 2, that's 8. So we have 16 plus 8, that gives us 24. So we can see that in the next step we have a square plus b square. Sorry, a raised to power 4 plus b raised to power 4 rather equals to 24. Now let's call this equation 3 from here. Then in the next step, let's look at this identity. That is, we have x plus y squared or square. This gives us x square plus y square plus 2xy so we want to use x here as a square and we use y here as b square then when we write this one now putting a square here putting b square here so we have a square plus b square then all square now so this will give us a square then square that's a raised to power 4 then plus b raised to power 4 then we have plus 2 a square b square then here also we can take a b and square it that's from the law of indices this becomes a square plus b square then all square if it equals to a raised to power 4 plus b raised to power 4 plus 2 times ab then all square now we should not forget that ab is 2 from equation 2 and also we get a raised to power 4 plus b raised to power 4 to be 24 so when we take this one here so we have here 24 for a raised to power 4 b raised to power 4 then plus here we have 2 square that's 4 then 4 times 2, that's 8. Then we have 24 plus 8. And this is equals to a square plus b square. Then all square. Then in the next step, we have a square plus b square. All square equals to 24 plus 8. That gives us 32. We take the square root on both sides. We take the square root on this side square root on this side square cancel square root here then this becomes a square plus b square equals to here we can write it as plus or minus square root of 16 times 2 square root of 16 times 2 and then uh, we can separate it as square root of 16 then square root of 2 square root of 16 is 4 so that means we have a square plus b square equals to plus or minus 4 root 
true then this identity a plus b all square when we expand this we have a square plus b squared m plus 2 a b so now in this place this gives us a square plus b square we have gotten that to be plus or minus 4 root 2 so we have plus or minus 4 root 2 then plus 2 times a b and a b is 2 that's 2 times 2 that gives us 4 there then we can rewrite this so on this side we have a plus b all square then in the next step this gives us a plus b squared now we now be equals to same thing as writing this for first year and that will be 4 plus or minus 4 root 2 so we have two possible cases we have the first case a plus b all squared is equals to 4 plus 4 root 2 and the second case we have a plus b all squared equals to 4 minus 4 root 2 then when we saw from this side we can see that this a plus b square will be greater than or equals to 0 and also this will give us a result greater than or equals to 0 so this we can continue with this then on this side we have this is greater than or equals to 0 on this side and uh, here it is obvious that the result here will be less than 0 then from here there won't be a solution on this side then when we work on this side we can now take the square root on both sides and before then let's factor for out so we have a plus b squared then equals to 4 out here then remain 1 plus what remain here is root 2 then when we take the square root on both sides here square cancel square root here then what we have here is a plus b left then equals to square root of 4 that's 2 so we have plus or minus 2 then root when we separate it root 1 plus root 2 so 1 plus root 2 and here we have the final answer therefore the value of a plus b we are finding from the problem is now equals to plus or minus 2 root 1 plus root 2 thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also give a thumbs up if you have any comment you can put it in the comment section see you in the next class and bye for now